Hello beautiful Pisces friends. How are you today? Welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. We're getting ready to do a general reading. And so for those of you who are new to Tarot, this is like a buffet table. All the messages won't apply to you. Just take the ones that are yours and leave the rest. We are getting ready to take a look at an overview of your life at this time, Pisces. I want to thank and welcome all watchers, cross watchers, and subscribers. Subscribers, you have been amazing this year. Your beautiful comments, the love that you give me. I'm so appreciative. I love all of you back so much. It's a joy to be here with you. So let's take a look. Look at that. We have Cancerian energy. Pisces, you are in love. You are feeling loved up. Look at this. Some of you are hoping to have a child. Some of you have a child. And you are very, very happy. That is a card of loving somebody very deeply. The Nine of Wands, it looks like there's some sort of burden, but you're willing to really work on the relationship. You are willing to fight for it. You're defending a relationship. Look at this soulmate energy with a guardian angel. Look at that. So beautiful, beautiful. We have a new beginning, a recent new beginning in love. Gorgeous. We have that's Aquarius energy. We have six. We have that's Gemini energy is number six of lovers, Cancerian energy and Sagittarius. So let's look and see what the crowning energy is. Ooh, the ten, oh, we have a beautiful King of Pentacles. So you are, look as though you've started a relationship recently. The Ace of Wands, it's ex an exciting, passionate time in your life. You are starting a new cycle and it looks like it's going to be very successful, Pisces. All right, what else do we have here? Give us more messages about Pisces and love right now, please. The Ten of Wands, releasing a burden, releasing stress and tension about something, letting it go, relaxing into your new beginning here. Let's see, what do we have in your fear? Your fear is that somebody will ignore you. So there is a fear that this person that you love is not going to tell you that they love you. So when we get the Scorpio King, that is the energy of somebody who loves unconditionally, but doesn't talk about it. So that is sort of, that's bothering you. You're feeling uncomfortable with it. Most definitely you feel uncomfortable with that. Look at this, the chariot card. Somebody's riding in very quickly. Honey, I'm home. Oh, gorgeous energy. That is the best reading I've had so far this year, Pisces. Let's take a look at the overall energy of the Moonology deck before we clarify the cards. This is beautiful. It looks like something is unfolding and it's unfolding rapidly. You're, you're finding yourself letting your guard down, but the overall energy is the before, believe in the impossible. <laughs> new beginning, right? Sometimes when we have, we leave an old relationship and we have a new beginning, we're a little bit worried about it, you know? We, we wonder if it's too good to be true. So Spirit is telling us this is not too good to be true. All right, let's look at this Queen of Cups energy, Pisces. So in the past, you know, in a love life, in your love life, you really felt like you were always in conflict with someone. You always felt as though before you had this new beginning that you're a person who has doubted yourself. You feel as though you tend to get in relationships where people hurt you and they cause drama and that has been a burden to you, but you are keeping the faith. It does look like most of you left a relationship behind or you were left in the cold. Now in this new relationship, you have a new beginning in the recent past. But this really speaks to how you feel and how you think. So what we're seeing here is that you have some worries and some insecurities about your love life because of past events. The beautiful guardian angel with this lover's card, soulmate card. You, again, you're very worried. I really see you in sort of a, a period of time, Pisces, 
you have Neptune, your planetary ruler, is in your sign right now. So you're at a very powerful time in your life, but it does look like you have fears. You are fearful of getting hurt in love and with good reason from the looks of it. Look at this. Yes, it's a brand new love. This is the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. Same card, different decks, beautiful. Why is the Taurus King here? Tell us something more about the Taurus King. That is what's going on with our Pisces friends right now. A relationship with someone who is very stable, who's very reliable, who is someone that is you can really count on. Six of Cups, this may have been somebody that you'd known from childhood. It could be someone that you've known for a long time. This is a reunion, a reconciliation. When we get the dog, we get loyalty, we get all of this passionate energy, we get a lot of yellow for happiness, joy, laughter, contentment. The, look at this passionate new beginning. The Ace of Wands is communication coming in. New communication as you've released something from the past. You've re you're releasing all of this fearful energy and you're throwing caution to the winds for your new beginning. Uh, you're feeling much better as you move forward into the next week, 10 days. It looks as, as though you're feeling much more confident. You know, let's see why we have the world card here. You are looking forward to romance. This beautiful energy is someone coming in with, you know, a bouquet of flowers, a beautiful invitation. The offer that you're receiving is one that you enjoy. You are leaving your worries behind. We have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So what I like about that energy for you is that though you are feeling uptight, uh, and you wanted the new connection, your partner is seeing you let your guard down. You're leaving the worries and the wounds of the past behind. So this is a person that knows you well enough to know your history and the pain that you had in a past relationship. This person understands you very, very well. And look at this. Oh, the Fool card. Look at, we have the Fool card and the Fool card. This person is very, very delighted to take the leap of faith with you, to fall in love with you, to this person has loved you for a long time. So I think for many of you, you are starting anew with somebody who was special to you very much at one time. As a minimum, you are very good friends. Could be childhood friends. The Two of Wands is telling me that there is a fork in the road. And this is about leaving your fears, leaving your fears, holding back. It's time to let go. You are letting go and you're moving into the future very rapidly. So that is a fork in the road. You know you have to let your guard down or else you can't have this new beginning. So it's gorgeous, okay. So the energy here of the chariot card, why do we have the chariot card? Why do we have the chariot card? All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> this beautiful new beginning. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, okay, you can. This beautiful new beginning is, is very, it's very brilliant. It looks as though your people, all of your friends want to meet this person. Some of your friends know this person. Again, gorgeous. Okay, let's see what your outcome card is for this beautiful new beginning in your life, Pisces. Good for you. A lot of Aquarius enlightened energy, leaving sadness and troubles and old pain behind. It's been a long journey too. You really traveled the distance. You didn't get here easily and your person knows that. And they're very, they're very open. They're very happy to have you in their life. Beautiful. All right. So traveling lightly, simplify your life. See how lightly she travels. You know, as she gave up the burdens, or, well, I say she, uh, as you, Pisces, gave up your burdens, released the old wounds and old hurts from a past relationship that did not work out, and you have this beautiful new beginning by simplifying your life.
Pisces, it's been a joy reading for you. I hope you liked this. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and comment to support the channel to let YouTube know that I'm putting content out that is of value. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye, Pisces, for now. See you soon.